What YouTube has done for piano playing cats and bootleg concert footage is nothing short of amazing. But most parents have experienced that sinking feeling when you're watching a video with your kid and something you'd rather them not see comes up. And when you're not supervising, you have no idea what your kids are watching. And it's not just the video content that can be iffy. Lots of the comments are too. Wouldn't it be great if you could simply filter out all the content that's not age appropriate? With YouTube's safety mode feature, you can. Well, almost. In this video, we'll show you how to turn on safety mode and tell you what you still need to watch out for. From any page on YouTube, just scroll down to where you see safety mode is off on the bottom left. That's the default setting. To turn it on, just click on. From here, you have two choices. You can either save your setting for your current session, or you can sign in to lock safety mode. If it's locked, no one can change the setting without your password, but you have to have a YouTube account to do it. Now do a test. Type in some search terms and check the results. Better? In our test, a few age inappropriate videos slipped in when we were in safety mode, but the filter caught a lot. The fact that it turns off comments is one of the best benefits for families since you just never know what users are going to post. Run your own experiments with safety mode on and off to see how the results differ. That will help you determine what level of supervision you think is necessary. YouTube uses a combination of community flagging and what they call other content signals to determine and filter out inappropriate content. The company openly states that no filter is 100% perfect, and they acknowledge that you are more likely to find age-inappropriate content if you're looking for it. Our advice? Families with kids under 13 should use safety mode, and to the extent possible, continue to supervise younger kids even with the filter on. We recommend safety mode for older kids too. It will just give you some peace of mind that at least the iffy stuff will be limited. Safety mode is browser specific, so you'll need to enable it on all the browsers you use. YouTube can be a great creative outlet for families, but kids will be kids and sometimes they'll post something you wish they hadn't. The best way to manage this is to have a conversation about what's appropriate to watch, see, and post. Eventually, kids will grow out of safety mode. So help them develop responsible online behavior they can use their whole lives. For more tech tips, visit commonsense.org. I'm Caroline Knorr.